welcome today we are going to present how to export txf or gbr file from hfss we already heard that gbr or dxf file is very essential for fabrication modern fabrication techniques collect the gbr or cad files to their respective software and they use fabrication some well known fabrications is already in india or ab abroad is lpkf mits electronics machines so you can find this in internet also so come to the point i am coming to the point so this is basically one antenna design so this antenna this is basically cpw based antenna so red portion is metal as it is cpw based so this back side is nothing is there in this back side so this portion if we want to export then first portion will be top portion so top portion is this red portion this metal part another portion is that outline part so we have to export two portion again i am repeating top portion and outline portion there is no option of ground plane or bottom portion some important thing is that before export this file to gbr or dxf you have to confirm your design that your design is lie one xy plane so see if your design is not in xy plane you have to convert your design to xy plane and z is the top portion so gbr or dxf conversion from hfss it will only see whatever file you have at z equals to 0 so at z equals to 0 whatever the plane is exist that file only it should be export so it will be more clear one by one so here z equals to 0 this is the x y so let's complete it so in this design see vacuum is not required so i can delete it just pressing the delete button then web port is also not required that is i am giving delete button so see now design is this metal part this substrate part. now i have to take export this board outline, outline portion see this board outline is in z equals to zero so i can take this advantage so let's say i am deleting this portion so uh, one uh, important thing without delete you can do but for simplicity i'm just deleting it but i will undo it to recover the top portion so now now i am delete the top portion now it is only board outline portion or bottom portion of the board now i have to go again i am confirming this is x this is y and this is z so this plane is export at z equals to 0 so at z equals to 0 whatever the thing is there that portion will be export nothing will be export so you have to go modeler export give a bottom bottom or out board outline whatever you wish and save type is so in hfss another thing is that you can't save or export that file in gbr format you have to export only dxf format next this dxf 
if you want to convert it GBR then that DXF you have to convert with another software so that software you can use another uh, various software is available in online so let's see what I'm using here so this is GXF bottom self now I do undo so top portion I have come back it is back now I will do one thing see this portion this top portion is not in z equals to 0 so if I export it it can't do anything so I have to fit the top metal part at z equals to 0 so this is the that gd1 gd3 this is the part so in antenna in antenna means this part only this portion so this portion i have to put z equals to 0 so at z equals to 8 is there so i am putting it a is equals to 0 now see the design is down somehow it is there so don't worry about this i just completed all the task put a is equals to 0 that is h z position is 0 so it is accordingly your design also you have to think how you put your structure z equals to 0 so another part is there i am giving at z equals to 0 with particular thickness is there so all portion is there now i have to delete the substrate because if substrate is there so there is a problem so it can't take the top portion it will take the bottom portion so then i delete it now see now it is at z equals to 0 the plane is exist now if i export the data it will export the respective top portion now i am giving export just giving the name top export now it's completed this portion is completed now i just redo it and come back the design so my design is this one so one thing is one problem is that now this is my design give me a save now i have to convert this data to dxf to gbr so for this case one software is there deep trace that is available in online for 32 trial period so i am using that software in this software i will import that data. now to convert this dx file from hfss to gbr you have to use another software that is deep trace software it is available in online on trial basis so in deep trace software you have to select the pcb layout form so you have to go file import dxf and you have to take the top portion so this is the file then you have to select the unit import mode is new and need not to do anything convert blocks convert to that is top and take it fill closed area then make it import so this is top portion is export now another portion that is bottom portion order board outline you have to take G dxf bottom so this is the bottom or board outline 
so which is millimeter import mode should be add and convert to take it bottom no problem will be there so fill closed area then import so this is portion top portion is yellow portion and take it bottom this is the bottom portion so top bottom is converted now i have to import sorry i have to export to gbr so go to export gbr then you have to select top automatically it will take top bottom so another thing offset should be zero no offset will be there then export all things will be there so export top portion is export now let's say take it top gbr then save another thing bottom export bottom nothing will be there simple no copper will be there so take it bottom and another portion board outline then export board outline so now it's completed all portion is ready for fabrication top bottom let's say recheck it so new no change let's recheck the gpr how's the health of the gpr import gpr then top gpr i'm just checking convert to top import okay it's fine then another gpr bottom bottom gpr okay it's fine take it add and convert to bottom then import that's fine so that is the things i have explained here how to export gbr dx or dxf from sfs software i think you enjoyed the tutorial please like and share the tutorial to reach your friends who are working in microwave or computer pcb technology thank you so much